all right so on this video i'm going to be repairing a battery now you might say repairing a battery how are you going to do that um, this battery i purchased it at the junkyard uh, when i got this home and i gave it a once over i noticed that the lugs or where the lugs go they're stripped uh, one of them was burnt out Th this one is gone so i finally uh, just drilled that thing out and what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be pretty much pressing in a brass stud in there. And I'm going to be making that on the lathe. I am going to thread it myself and turn it a couple thousands over from the uh, final diameter on that hole. So I can just have a nice and tight fit. And I'm not going to be using this on a car because on a car... Things tend to be rougher and I'm just pressing this in just to hold um, just stuff pretty much uh, like a solar panel is going to go on this thing and I'm going to be hooking this up or have this as my security system or it's going to power my security system. It's going to be solar powered, um, charged all day, um, in use all night pretty much. Uh, it's also going to serve for lights and uh, it's a good battery other than the lugs um, the other one is pretty far gone too uh, so i got the lathe all powered up i get a piece of brass stock loaded up into the chuck there be doing is just pretty much measuring it up and make sure I get a exact or correct uh, cut there so I can start doing the threading so uh, I know this isn't the right tool for this but uh, my die holder broke so and this isn't a real critical part so I'm just gonna this light slight little bit of thread in here that's nothing too tight it's brass so it threads pretty easy So I don't, since this takes too long though, I'm going to remove this and do my final measurements and then I'll be sticking this on the battery. But uh, I still got to find a 5 sixteenths nut and I should be done. Alright, so I've gone ahead and I've pretty much just cut down my brass stock here and then I threaded it. Uh, all I did was just get it down to size. Now I got a piece of, of brass stock here that I'm going to put over this and I'm just going to press this in here. Now what I'm going to be doing is just pretty much hitting it in with a hammer. Uh, if it doesn't go in at all then I'm going to have to cut it down a little bit but um, it should go in and it should stay stuck in there. So I'm going to be hitting this with a rubber mallet really strong rubber mallet
and that's pretty much how it's done. Uh, it took a little bit of force to get it in there, but it's not. It's only about four to five thousandths over uh, the final diameter that's on the inside of the side post battery here. And being five thousandths, or maybe about five or close to six thousandths, I was able to get a really nice tight fit. If I wanted to put this battery back in service, I could. Um, it's on there really nice and tight. Um, there's no acid leaking or anything like that, so it's all nice and safe. Now what I can do is just insert a washer in there and pretty much uh, tighten down my accessories that I'll be using here, like for my solar panel. But I'm not using this um, for a service battery anymore. It's not going to be in a car, but it's still good for projects and I thought I'd make this video for the people out there um, that do DIY stuff and maybe have a couple batteries laying around or somebody that has you know a battery that's damaged and it's it's a good battery but you can't do anything with it because the side posts are gone on it uh, the threads are shot but this is one way of doing it um, Somebody could get their local machinist to do this. I'm doing this for myself here, but uh, if I ever run into a customer that needs a battery fix, um, this is something what I would do. Another thing to do also is move up a couple thousandths of an inch on your threads. Um, so you have an oversized uh, stud and you can actually chase that with the threads that are in there but I think this is a better way of doing actually pressing it in there I mean it's in there for good now and I should get a lot of use out of this battery still instead of actually taking it and then just scrapping it for a couple of dollars um, it, it'll be better suited for projects so as for the other side um, what I've done is I've made a 3 8 uh, threaded adapter here but I've gone a little bit higher on the uh, thread or the actual diameter is a little bit more than 3 8 and the front part of the lug or the stud is 5 16 so I jammed these two nuts here together and I'm going to be installing it on this side. Now this other side didn't need to be drilled out or, and have the stud pressed in. So all I'm going to do here is just thread this and that should be it. Um, just because this has damaged threads, um, they're a little bit overcut. I substitute it by making the threads a little bit larger. So everything will be a nice tight fit in there, which it is now. And now I can just go ahead and remove my nuts that I've jammed here. And just remove both of them. And as you can see, now I've repaired both sides or both terminals. So those things are not coming out. I mean, I can pick up the battery. These things are nice and tight there. Uh, I don't think there's anybody out there with videos on how to repair uh, side posts, but I mean it it's obviously can be done. Um, it just depends on how much the battery, how much damage there is. But uh, I have five sixteenths lugs now, or uh, studded lugs there, and now I'm ready to rock and roll pretty much. But uh, anyways, that's how the Terminal repairs would go for a damaged side post battery or how to repair your side post battery. Thanks for watching.